This is the continuation. We've been building this mold on the previous tape. We're building a ring mold. We're building, we're going to lay up the first crutch piece today. Wes is going to start doing that. And we're going to try to, we've got the base plate. This wing is going to be almost this long. Don't forget to factor in the tips. That's what I'm saying. You got to factor in the tips here. Okay. By the time I put the tip there. Okay, so step one is you just got to lay, just lay it out. And leave at least two inches overage on your left. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna yeah, you're not gonna, that much. Why even bother? Don't even bother. Just lay it off so it's not in the middle. Yeah. Okay, Les is trimming off all the little pieces of rubber from his crutch mold that he yeah, made on the previous video. You want to put the tips video. on this first? Absolutely. No, no. You want to glue it to the table first. All right. Let's let's get the radiuses on there They're equal. On. They're on. You got the radiuses? Okay. Look at that. They're, they're gorgeous. Okay, then the next step is to lay it out and make sure we are exactly straight. The trailing edge, you can't make a saber jet out of it. Well, let's take this apart and lay it take up. Take it apart and let's lay it out. Just lay a straight line on the... That's it. We'll put a straight line right on this thing. We want to work with... The most important thing right now is to get a straight trailing edge. Since these are exact mirror images of each other, we don't want to have the trailing edge going forward or back even a little bit when we make the mold. Just make it from one end right to the other. That'll be fine. Geez, you know, i got to tell you something. This is a pretty straight cut here. I would imagine it was machine manufactured. It was pretty good. Yep. <coughs> we got that back then. Now you just got to fit the tips. You got a perfectly straight trailing edge. Yep, yep. The joint in the middle kind of line. Well, it doesn't matter. We fill it with epoxy anyway. It's, it's, it's cool. better than you could... Imagine. Okay. Right well, here. John's stuff is pretty good. The We've docked it. Okay, the... Well, we'll fill it with epoxy anyway. Here's the problem. Until we get this... If we have to move this, it's too flexible right now to move. Yeah. This is a permanent part of the table for right now. Okay, we need pressure to hold it down while you're doing that. Yep. Put the bead around the hole. Let's hope. Glue the whole thing right to it. And don't be cheap with the glue because we're off the part of the mold that matters. Right. Good. I wish this stuff would go on. Well, Rudy, you may have to kick it, but try not to kick it with a lot of kicker right. so that. I left that one. Yeah, no. If it if it turns into popcorn, then you got to sand that edge. That's going to be a critical edge on a mold. Yeah, just give it a little a mist. Why? A little piece of sixty fourth plywood is only there so we can identify. When we put the two clamshells together, this locates the bell crank bolt off into the other side. Half of the bell crank throw. And Dave is finalizing the, the wingtip shapes. We're going to get the wingtip shapes on. And then get the final blend of the wingtips in there. As Woody munches down on a big sandwich. The other half I have from you. Oh! Okay, you're mixing up the resin. Yep. We're all set here. He's got his mold. Another minute to mix. Here. All my, all the stuff ready to compress into the mold for the first prototype layup. Dave's got front. one, one really nice tip done. One he's still working on. So we're cruising right along here with. Uh, and we're going to try to do this one with some of this carbon tote that we have left over from the last job. That looks like it'll work well. Uh, a nice coarse carbon fiber. This is this is probably uh, six six ounce or something, whatever they call it. It's, it's much thicker than thin stuff. So what you'll be able to just just pack it in. The idea is to get as much carbon and as little resin into that mold, and then have it dry overnight. So first step is you just just paint away. Get a coat on it, even though it's not going to stick. See, the original coat, it's going to all fish eye up like it's doing here. But just get it wet anyway. You can put extra resin in there. Because as you pack the toe, it's going to come to the surface. 
You just just get the mold wet. That's the very thing. And a couple of air bubbles here and there, cosmetic air bubbles, not a problem at all. You still want to try to keep the minimum amount of that stuff. Well, we want to pack as much carbon in here as we can. Now, this what's the what? difference in weight between one of these and one that's made out of wood? Uh, this is 50, and the, the wooden ones are 84. That's not the... It isn't the weight. It, these don't absorb oil. You know, like Strega? If Strega had a carbon cow, we, sure. could, we could just... Forever. Nothing else wears out. The wing doesn't That's wear true. out. That's true. Yeah, I didn't. The controls never wear out. It's just the damn nose. So of the it's plane. not even, even though it's it wood. It's better. It's lighter and by a little bit. Yeah. But well, all the ones that have carbon crutches, the motor runs real nice too. I think you gain yeah. on the have motor. Have you run. ever tried a Super Tiger 60 on one of these? No. I don't think we'll be using any more Tiger 60, so it's an irrelevant thing. And no more Model A Fords either, so. Oh, listen to this guy. I like my Model A Fords. I like my Model A Fords. I like my Model A Fords, too. Well, if we were building Tiger 60 planes, I'd probably make this a little bit thicker, but yeah. Because of what we, the, the road jets, they run so smooth. Don't even have to worry about it. I got a bunch of Tiger 60s. Well, then, if you can't, you probably couldn't afford the carbon crutch either. <laughs> <laughs> right, Woody? Right. <laughs> right. Poverty boy over right. here. The Tiger 60s. And, and by the way, now that you just heard Dave say, what was that that you said about poverty? What was tough, tough life paying for your modeling toys? I'm going to take a little walk out to the driveway and show you the car he just bought. Nah, you don't have to do that. Look. I have a Model A. Ah, now he's complaining. His major complaint. Let's go out to the driveway. His complaint is... See, Wendy, I don't have any money for modeling supplies. Let's go see what kind of car he just bought. Probably the bottom of the line Ford Escort. Oh, no. Oh, no. A red BMW sports car with what custom plates. Wow. So that means he's got money to burn. But does he ever leave any in New Jersey? Nah. Back to the shop. See? It's not funny. Dave's a great guy, but... He spends all his money on custom license plates, and then he can't afford a carbon crutch. Wes, he's got a very expensive car. Oh, right. But it's a rental, right? You just rented it. We just Does he own? Let me see your registration. Some people have expensive women. He's got expensive. Yeah, yeah. I got expensive women too. <laughs> All right, let's pack. Wife and, and daughters, right? Pack, wife baby. All right, here pack we go. Pack away. Let's see you pack. This is the part that takes a little bit of getting used to. Make sure you get it soaking wet, too. Pack a well. Look at how he packs, baby. Now, we can get you in a job in Purdue chicken, <laughs> cutting the wings off chickens or something. Yeah. That would be nice if you get one of these pieces going around the... You know what I mean? We can do that at some point. Yeah, of course, of course. This list was a packer from way back. <laughs> Green Bay Packer. Wet it down, baby. In the world of carbon, it's how much carbon you can get in there in proportion to the resin. Just pack away. What do we do with the stuff that's sticking up on the end? Keep packing it. Pack it, baby. You're a packer. There you go. Why do you think you wear gloves? Pack away. You can fold it. You can pack. Actually, the, the more you can get it to interweave, the better it is. I mean, it's, though you wouldn't want to have all the strands in any one direction anyway. Especially up here where we're going to thread it for, you know, for parts. But just make sure you get plenty of resin. You don't want to have any dry spot on there. It's okay if the resin bubbles out and oozes up, we'll make more, but get it saturated. Is, if he gets a good crutch, we give him a slice of pizza. If he doesn't get a good crutch, kick-ass wing, boy. Is that going to be a good wing, Mo? This is going to be the ultimate cardinal. Ass. Ultimate. When, when you look at your BMW with that carbon tail sticking up out of the back, oh, that's going to be nice. This is the final part with all the carbon in it, all the resin oozing out. As soon as Les gets his gloves off, we're going to roll it and put it under some heavy weights. Notice that we've got overage in every dimension here because the more carbon we can squeeze in there, as soon as you can get out all the little air bubbles this way, all right, let me we'll put a weight on here. And you're going to machine that flat or sand it, it won't matter. When you're done, just try to squeeze out the, uh, the air bubbles as you do that. 
looks good. It looks it looks sloppy, but when you're done, it's no problem at all. It's always easy if you start in the end. One end doesn't matter. But we've got plenty of carbon in there, baby. <laughs> See all the oozy boo coming out of there? Yeah, we're getting cool as that. And then we'll let it sit overnight. And tomorrow you'll have your prototype crutch. Okay, get the final blending, any sanding. A good way to get a nice joint here is just take, what we've done is wipe the joint with thick CA, just wipe it and then feather it in. This way you're, going, you're not going hard, soft, hard. It kind of feathers it out. That one should be okay too. Now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to glass the whole wing in one piece so that we have a hard shell that we can work with. Gorgeous. We're all done. Let's vacuum. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Let's vacuum it off. If, if this blend down here goes down underneath, you've got to get a tiny little radius of fiberglass material, resin, anything. Just so that this doesn't... Yeah, so you don't have an undercut. When you don't undercut it and tear it up. Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's a good one. And this center here needed a little... Yeah, that's okay. Right now. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, one little spot here needs a little. Yeah, we got to fill. You got a, yeah, you've got a hard spot there. No, it's this is too big. You've got to take some material off here. See, this is fine, and it, it comes up. Just get a block. Take a sanding block. You've got too much material right along the front, and then take the real long block and make sure we have this this line. You got the real long block there. In other words, take this block and make sure you you don't have it You're pointing out. There. Okay. There you go. There you go. That's why it's always good we have this whole box of sanding blocks to work with. Remember the thing, you're sanding every wing that'll ever come out of this mold. And we already have two molds that are producing relatively nice wings. In fact, Woody's got the other one. We do. You got he even one. crashed it, he was so mad at the wing. He said, plane doesn't fly itself, he's got to fly it. Well, we can't design that into the plane, unfortunately. Get that so you can't feel it. Don't look at it, just do it by feel. Well, the only thing I can feel is that...